Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, okay, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, my makeup looks familiar because like I said in my recent video or my last video or the video before the last one, I film two videos per day sometimes just because I need to get these videos out for you guys and I'm a busy mama. And yeah, when I can sit down and film, that's when I like to go ahead and get it done, son. So ignore the fact that my makeup is the same. Thank you very much for your support and appreciation and understanding. But back to the topic welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel for those of you who are new my name is christy and otherwise known here as i heart airbrush and today we're gonna be talking about something that i've been wanting to talk about for so long i finally got my hands on the temp 2 airpod pro yes airpod pro we're just gonna go ahead and do an intro and demo today so if you're interested in learning a little bit about the temp 2 airpod pro and what i think about it of course then please keep on watching all right so yes the long-awaited airpod pro video yes i think it's a more long-awaited for me because i've been wanting to go ahead and review this for you for a very long time but i had to purchase it myself so it took some time you know to get the extra funding girl to go ahead and buy it for you guys so i did go ahead and purchase this on camera ready cosmetics that um, and it was I think it was on Cyber Monday where they had a little bit of a discount so I got to save that money honey you know how I like to do that anyways I believe it was $25 if you wanted to get just the pod by itself and then if you go to temp2pro.com you'll find that they only sell the pod with the little brush the little temp2 detail and cleaning brush here that goes with the pod system for $35 and camera ready cosmetics also offers that as well so you get the pod and the brush for $35 now if you order yours on temp2pro.com they have a couple different options for the pods now you can get the pod with the detailing brush for $35 or you can get the three pack plus brush set and that one retails for $70 so now that we know price point let's go ahead and get on to some details about the airpod pro shall we and for that I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to the website yeah and we're just gonna go ahead and go through what the website says about the airpod pro like we do here because you know I want the right information I want to give you the right information and there's no better way to do that than to go to the source so let's go to the source right now all right so we have here on the temp2 pro website this is a reusable and disposable single action top feed patented airbrush cartridge that gives artists the power to mix and customize makeup without the need to break down and clean an airbrush gun ever again <laughs> it says it includes of course the airpod pro and the airpod pro brush which is a slim brush designed specifically for the use of cleaning as well as custom mixing in the airpod pro it says the features and benefits for the airpod pro is it includes the brush for cleaning and mixing of course you can mix and customize colors in the chamber you can also mix some of their sb mixing medium and with some glitter in that chamber and go ahead and spray that out as well of course temp2 sells their own glitter don't go trying to make some random glitter in there because you might get the whole thing clogged up okay girl like make sure that you're getting the cosmetic gray glitters for this and make sure you're getting the fine ones okay go ahead and check out temp2's website you'll see the gold glitter that they sell that's the kind you should be using when in doubt just use what they offer okay <laughs> Anyways, back to the description. So it says it's reusable for up to 120 uses. So not only is it reusable, but it is also disposable as well. So you can go ahead and just chuck it if it ain't working right, girl. So there are a little bit more details in here. So another ne detail about the AirPod Pro is that the needle or nozzle size is a 0.5 millimeter. For you pros out there, that might be important to you because the size of the needle and nozzle definitely affects how wide the spray is, okay? So we have a 0.5 millimeter needle and nozzle here. It is compatible with all compressors when used with the appropriate AirPod airbrush. So if you wanna go ahead and connect it to the Temp2 Air, like this here, that would be the quickest way to go ahead and do it. But you can also attach it to the 2.0 system and their other um, airbrush systems. I have the 2.0 system, but I do not have the AirPod gun attachment. Um, I believe that attachment goes for about $50. Don't quote me. I will go ahead and put the price in the description box below for you along with the link to it. But you can go ahead and get that attachment if you didn't already purchase it with your 2.0 kit. And um, you can use the AirPod Pro in that. So nice little tidbit. Very versatile here for their systems. And it can be used for beauty and body art application. 
So I think that is the end of that. So let's just go ahead and dive into playing with it, shall we? All right, so we have the AirPod Pro here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up. I'm just gonna pop it open like so. Dispose of this little holder in there, the little placing. And we have the AirPod Pro, it looks like this. Hello, yes, we have the chamber here. We have the front needle here with the sticker, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the stick hairs. And then we have the cleaning brush on the inside of the cap like so, and the standard pull here. So as you can see, the difference between this one and the other AirPods is there's no little hole with a little plug to pull it out because we're gonna be filling the makeup in from the top. And to do that, you just go ahead and pop the cap off like so, and it exposes the inside. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off some of these stickers here and get ready to get on using, girl. All right, so now that the sticker is off and the cap is off the back, we're going to go ahead and follow some instructions here because this is the first time I'm using it. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. So when you order the AirPod Pro, it does come with a little instruction sheet here. And at least if you order it from uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics, you should get a little instruction sheet here. And if you don't have that, they do have it online at Temp2's website. So go ahead and check that out or call their customer service. So I'm sure they'll be more than happy to go ahead and send over the instructions to you. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and prep the pod. And it says remove the tamper seal on the tip and on the clear cap, which I did. It says prime the needle by dropping one to two drops of SB cleaner into the inner well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I put SB cleaner in this little bottle that I got from a really good friend of mine. Her channel is here on YouTube. I will go ahead and put it down here and I will link it in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. Anyway, she's an amazing airbrush artist. She has really fun tutorials. I definitely recommend going ahead and checking her out. But she hooked it up with these little bottles and what I like about them a lot is they have this little fine tip on there. So I find that distributing the SB cleaner, which could be a little bit messy in the traditional bottles, gets perfectly distributed in this little guy. So I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you, girl. You know you hooked me up, and I'm, I've been using it, girl. I've been using it. Anyway, so this is SB cleaner here, and it says just to drop two to three drops in the well here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop three drops. Then it also says to pull gently on the clear loop. So let's get you up close here. We have the clear loop here, as you can see, and we're just gonna pull gently on it a couple times to prime the needle. All right, so once that's done, it says remove the silver cap, but we already did that. And it says to spray the SB cleaner through thoroughly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to my Temp2 Air here, hold the button down, slide it in like so, just like you with the regular pods. This is a lot easier than it looks. It's weird to do it up, holding it up so high. Okay, so now that it's in, okay, we're gonna spray out the excess cleaner, and to do that, we just wanna go ahead and turn it on by holding the button down. I'm gonna increase the speed setting to setting three, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray out the excess cleaner now. Okay, you can hear that sound. All the cleaner is out. All right, so now that it's all out, the pod should be ready to go. Should be ready to go. So it says a little tip here, prior to using water, a water-based formula, spray one to two drops of 99% alcohol through the AirPod Pro to remove any residue of the SB cleaner. So you can go ahead and use this with water-based formulas if you would like. Um, we're gonna talk about using water-based formulas with Attempt to Air in another video, so I'm not gonna go into too many details about that. But yeah, you can use water-based formulas in here if you do after using silicone base. Then just go ahead and spritz a little bit of alcohol in there. You should be good to go, girl. So it says using the AirPod Pro. Let's get into using it. So now we have all this information. Let's get into using it. All right, so it says insert 7 to 10 drops of makeup into the inner well. So it says the needle should be fully covered. You can blend with the AirPod Pro blush, brush, excuse me, brush, if you're mixing colors. You want to snap the clear cap on to the well for a spill-free application. It said the recommended speed setting for use with Attempt2 Air is a speed setting 3. And I already showed you how to go ahead and change, change between the speed settings here. And it says a tip for faster and easier application and less cleaning, assign an AirPod Pro to each type of makeup. An example would be one for foundation, one for shimmers, and one for color like blush. 
So, yeah, that's a nice little tidbit to know. Less cleaning, you just go ahead and assign one to one, which that three pack definitely comes into handy if you decide to do that. All right, so that's how to go ahead and prep it and use it. So let's get on to using it. Now I already have a full face of makeup done, but I did not put on highlighter specifically because I wanted to try putting on a highlighter using the Temp2 Pro Pod, because I got it. Why not use it? So here I have the Temp2 SB highlighter in champagne shimmer. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop a couple of drops. Let's drop three. Let's drop three. Two, three drops. Oh, maybe let's only drop two. No, three. There we go. We got three, girl. So that's three drops in the inner well. Now the needle is not fully covered, but it's in there. So we got three drops on the inner well, like so. Okay, and then we're just gonna take the top cap, pop it on. And then it recommends to use it at speed setting three. So let's go ahead and turn our compressor on. It's already at three. So wherever you leave it and wherever you turn it off, that's where it's going to be at when you turn it on again. Okay, so it kind of recognizes the last setting and that's how it goes back and forth. So we need to go back on three. I'm going to test it out on a tissue. Spray's looking good. So now let's go ahead and apply our highlights. So I'm going to get a little bit closer here and go ahead and highlight The face. Yes, the glow girl. Okay, I'm just lightly pulling back on the lever repeatedly, releasing small amounts at a time. You know, silicone base and water base formulas differ in application, but there are some things that can be used, or I want to say like some techniques that can be used with the two. There we go. Got a little stuck there for a second there. I wasn't getting my glow on. Now I could feel it. Ooh, girl, you see that glow? That is popping right there. So let's go ahead and make this other cheek popping too. Yes, look at that glow. Okay. So it looks like that is it. Glow into the heavens now. If you want, you can even go ahead and highlight the tear duct as well. Whatever is left over. It doesn't have to be much. And then you just want to go ahead and hold it down to click it off. So yeah, look at that. Nice and smooth. With that 5 millimeter tip though, I know that I'm getting a nice broad spray. So doing work for the face, I can definitely see using this for, you know, bigger areas. As far as detail work, I'm not sure how great it would be at detail work. Just because of the fact that the spray is so wide. So... Yeah, maybe I could show you how wide that is actually. Let's go ahead and spray a piece of paper so you can see how wide the spray is. And for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use, let's use this color here. This is True Blush. This is a blush in the shade two bl True Blush, True Blush. Jesus, woman, get it together. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the top cap here, apply a few drops of the True Blush. I'm going to show you just how wide the spray is on here so you can kind of get an idea of the differences between this and of course the top feed airbrushes, the standard ones, you know the ones that we see on other systems. I find that I have a little bit more control with the standard airbrushes. Um, not so much control but I have the freedom to do more detail work with the standard airbrushes as opposed to the airpods. But let's see how this one performs. So let's go ahead and turn it back on, it's on speed setting 3. And we're just going to go ahead and spray some paper here. Let's get a little bit closer, girl. So this is about two inches away. Okay. Focus. Focus. Okay. So, no, it's about one inch away. It's about two inches away. And this is about maybe six inches away. Okay. So the spray patterns are pretty broad for being one inch, two inch, one inch, maybe two inch, four inches away. But yeah, so that's how wide the spray pattern is. This is about maybe four to six inches away. You could see a very large spray pattern. This one here is about two, three inches away, still fairly large. And the one inch spray pattern, 
still pretty large. So the spray pattern is attributed to the size of the needle and nozzle. That's kind of what does the controlling. So you can be super, super close in and still get this size because of the needle size. So, oh, you know what? This is a good way to show you um, point of reference. So this is my finger. It gives you as big as your finger here, a little bit bigger. Point of reference, point of reference. So you can see obviously once again that the spray on this one is a little bit broader it's a little bit wider the cone the little funnel on here if you've taken a pro workshop before or if you know a little bit more about airbrush makeup you know that the size of the needle and the size of the nozzle does attribute to how large the funnel gets off the bat so when you're real close then um, the size of the nozzle on the needle is going to affect the uh, size of the spray Okay, so if you have needles or not needles, so if you have needles or nozzles that are smaller, then of course you're going to get a more focused, concentrated spray. A lot, a lot better for doing detail work or fine details, in my opinion. So the AirPod Pro, what do I think about it? Well, I think it's a really cool device. I think it's nice. When Temp2 first came out with their AirPod system and the Temp2 Air, it took me a while to get my hands on it, but when I did, I wasn't sure about the pod formula. Um, as well as the whole pod system in general. I thought it was a really cool concept, so if it worked out, then hey. If it didn't, then a little bit of a bummer, but you know, we'll see where, where, we'll see where it goes. The spirit of exploration, of course, this is why we shop, girl, because we just gotta try everything. And airbrush makeup is no different, and airbrush makeup enthusiast has to try everything too. Anyways, um, shortly after trying the AirPods for the first time, I did go ahead and realize that I wouldn't be able to do certain detail work with the AirPods. Certain detail work like airbrush eyeliner, for those of you who know me, who've been around, you know that I love to airbrush my eyeliner. Um, I will have a link to that video in the description box below. But anyways, yes, love to airbrush my eyeliner. I love to do all kinds of different tricks with my air shadow, like cut creases and all this little detail work with my um, air shadow as well. So I find it's a little bit difficult to go ahead and do that with a pod system just because of how large the spray is. So I won't say that you can't do everything with this system. I would just say that you are a little bit more limited with the pods as opposed to the traditional top feed airbrush. So yeah, but when I say limited, just kind of to kind of narrow it down a little bit, you're limited if you're going to do um, eyeshadows to smoky eye looks, of course, because like I said, the spray is so wide, getting those detailed looks, those detailed cuts. Um, are not really possible without the aid of stencils and even then you know the spray is still going to be broad and then of course doing airliner I don't recommend doing that with the pods I don't even think that temp2 advertises doing airbrush eyeliner with the pods if you're looking for a smoky liner you might be able to go ahead and get away with that if you go ahead and protect your lashes because you don't want it to get it you don't want the silicone based makeup to get into your eyes but you know, at that point, I just want to go ahead and say, just just don't do your eyeliner using the pods or silicone-based um, airbrush makeup. It's just not necessary. You don't have to worry about doing eyeliner with that, and it's probably safer that you just don't. Um, I personally don't feel comfortable doing eyeliner using the silicone-based formula, but that's just me. Um, but you definitely could not do that with the pods. I'm not saying that you could, because like I said before, attempt to never advertise that you could. But I do think that this is good for doing the face, the complexion. You can get your blush, bronzer, and highlighter done with the pod system. As far as shadow goes, you can get smoky looks, either soft or bold smoky looks. Or, of course, you could do your airbrows with it because I did do a video on the airbrow using the Temp2 uh, pod for that. I will go ahead and link that in the description box below also. But as far as like your shadow, you're pretty limited to what you can do to soft smoky or bold smoky. Uh, no eyeliner for sure. Um, and yeah, so... I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's limited, but not as limited as you think. You can definitely get away with incorporating this system into your normal routine if that's something that you want to do. Um, as far as switching over completely to full face airbrush makeup, I don't think this is going to be the one for you. But still a good product, still a good buy. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the Temp2 AirPod Pro. And once again, I forgot something. <laughs> so yes, we talked about it. We used it.
Let's talk about how to clean it, girl. And on the instructions that it came with, it talks about how to clean it. So let me go ahead and get those instructions and let's walk through the process together. All right, so it says cleaning the AirPod Pro. Clean between colors. Choose the cleaner based on the type of formula you're using. You want to use for silicone and oil-based formulas, SB Cleaner. For alcohol-based formulas, use 99% alcohol. And for water-based formulas, use water or cleaner that works for water-based formulas. Um, it says drop desired cleaner into the well of the AirPod Pro. Let me take my nifty little bottle here. We're going to drop it into the well. I want to fill it up past the needle because I think that's what's going to get it the most clean. Okay, so that's about 10 drops. And then it says use the AirPod Pro brush to clean around and under the needle as well as clean the tube. Okay, so we're going to take the Pro brush here. It just looks like that. Put that down so you can see it. Just looks like that. Attempt to print it on the side. It's a cute little size brush. Look at that. Anyways, so you want to take it out of the plastic, of course, and just go ahead and swirl it around. Get all of that makeup off of the walls under the needle. All right, so now that it's all swirled around in there, then it says to spray completely through. So go ahead and spray out all the cleaner out and it says repeat as needed until the spray is clear. It says when finished, regardless of the formula used, always clean the AirPod Pro thoroughly with 99% alcohol so it's ready to use the next application. So let's go ahead and spray out this cleaner in here. Oh yeah, it's taking all the makeup with it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna have to repeat the process because I see a little bit of makeup still in there. I'm gonna take my brush and cleaner, kinda get in there. Clean it thoroughly, it says. And you take care of your equipment, girl. Take care of it. Now, I don't see any more makeup on the needle, so I think we're done. So now that that's out, let's go ahead and put some alcohol inside the well. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and spray that out. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and turn it off. And let's see what the rest of these directions say here. So it says, Spray it with alcohol, which we did, which so it's ready for your next application. It says never leave makeup sitting in the AirPod Pro to dry or harden. It says no fuss cleaning. Spray into the AirPod Pro cleaning pot, which is sold separately, which I don't have. I definitely want that cleaning pot though. And yeah, so it says AirPod Pro care and maintenance. It says never soak or submerge the AirPod Pro in alcohol. Never store makeup inside the AirPod Pro. It says take care of your AirPod Pro brush. It's best to clean the brush after and smooth the bristles down to help dry it back. So, so it helps it dry back to the shape, the initial shape. It says, when working with different types of formulas, always clean thoroughly with 99% alcohol and leave it to dry before moving to a new formula or assign a AirPod Pro <laughs> for each formula. That means a pro for silicone base, one for water base, one for alcohol base, if you decide to use alcohol base. So I think that is it for this. Nice and clean now. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and utilize that little... Um, tip needle thing in the back, the little brush that they give you to go ahead and clean. And like I said before in a previous video, it comes on the inside of your cap. You just want to remove the sticker like so. And then you want to take, I like to take a little bit of alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of alcohol, spritz it on that little sponge end of the little applicator there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the front end the airbrush give a little twist twist and that'll soften up any makeup that could potentially harden on the needle in the front which will prevent me from getting a smooth spray there you go nice and clean heck yeah so now that that is done I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in the cap it just slides right in there and then it stays in there so you never have to worry about searching for it it's always with your pods and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the button down here remove my AirPod. Okay, there's nothing to close because there is no um, cap to remove. It's just the loop. The loop handle. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to take the lid, pop it back on there so it doesn't get lost, and that is it. Just going to go ahead and store it on my vanity until I'm ready to use it next, girl. Alright, so that is it for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was helpful or informative for you or at least entertaining. 
Um, if you still have any questions or concerns or comments, just go ahead and put it in the comment box below. I'd be more than happy to help you if I can, in any way I can, of course. Um, once again, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it, found it entertaining or helpful at all. And then hopefully you will decide to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. It's absolutely free and you get to join my Airbrush family where I can help you and you can help me, of course, because this is a community here and this is exactly why I'm here, just to go ahead and spread my knowledge of Airbrush makeup and maybe learn a few things from some other professionals out there involved in Airbrush makeup. So, yeah. Also, if you do choose to subscribe, or if you already are subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you get the quickest updates anytime I upload a video. All right, I think I said all that needs to be said. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now and I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.